Today, I'm going to show you some sheet metal in Fusion 360. Um, this is a new function uh, that has been introduced to, into Fusion 360 of, I think, the, the second last uh, update that they've done. Um, if you don't see the sheet metal as workspace up over here, or if you just see model, then it is found under, you know, sort of model, whatever you're on, and then sheet metal. So turn it to the sheet metal uh, environment. Um, on this, uh, what you'll see that's additional is the flange command. And the flange command allows you to either take closed profiles and open profiles um, and start creating the, the sheet metal that you want, um, as well as create, create flanges from uh, you know, existing sheet metal that you already have created. So with this uh, flange tool over here, I'm going to go and create, select this open profile. Now I can either go put a distance in or I can just um, grab this arrow and pull up, and then it's much more exciting doing it this way really, as you see your, your sheet metal part grow. Um, on the thickness, uh, you know, if you look at, at the thickness over here, um, we have drawn our original line at the inside, you know, so it's going to the outside over there. Uh, so that's one side, and guess what? You know, there's, there's the other side of the line. Um, so I like the, the naming convention there, it's having a little bit of fun. Um, or, you know, you can have it symmetric. So the the contour line that I've drawn is sitting in the middle of that um, of that sh uh, sheet metal contour flange. Okay, so um, you know directions one side as well. Um, you know if I select that, you'll see that an additional arrow pops up at the bottom, and I can say you know what, let's extend this flange below the original sketch that I created. Um, you know one side, two side, or symmetric. So at least then you know you've got control over it, and it is. Um, the same distance from that center point up and down. I'm going to keep it onto one side over here. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and uh, um, select OK. So there I've created my first sheet metal uh, component. Um, let's take a look at creating some uh, additional flanges on this. So back to the flange tool, so the original flange tool. And I'm going to go and select these two uh, sides over here. So uh, once again, I love this little uh, area, you know, makes it, you know, sort of lots of fun. Automatically miters over there as well. If I take off the miter option, then it does not miter. So you can see there, there's an automatic miter function. Um, you know, if you want to, you know, flip it around, you can you can use the flip command. So it goes to the outside. Or if you want to have a little bit of fun, you know, actually use the, um, use the angle command over there. Okay, so there we go, 90. Okay, so let's go and flip that back to the inside. Um, let's uh, just bring it up a bit. Now, if you realize that you um, maybe have, uh, you know, you need to actually go and add these extra edges over here. You do have an add by button over here. So I can go and add. The one thing you do have to go and click on the add button every single time. Oopsie, I clicked on the wrong one. Uh, to deselect or to delete, I can just uh, select that. And delete it and let's go add another edge just making sure that I've got that inside edge over there Oops, it has deleted that one as well so let's just go add that edge and then this edge over here come on okay so there we've got our, our sheet metal and, you know, lots of fun, pull out, pull down, you know, sort of make it longer or shorter. Okay, so once we've done that, um, you know, we can go and put a, a sort of um, 400, 450, whatever you need, uh, and then select, okay. So now we've got our sheet metal creation over there. Um, <clears throat> so to get a, uh, flat pan pattern out of this, we go to our modify tab and then we can say create flat pattern. It asks you for the stationary face. So I'm going to say this, uh, let's put on this face over here. And it creates our flat pattern over there. From this now, we can go and create a 2D drawing. So under um, drawing from design, select that. And it's going to ask us to save it. So I'm going to say sheet metal. Flat pattern. Uh, choose where you want to save it on your uh, your A360 account, and then it's going to ask you, um, you know, sort of just what drawing, create new. Uh, you can create um, 
uh, sorry, create a new drawing from your template from scratch, or you can browse for an existing template that you created. You can uh, use this DWG file, so you can create that in uh, AutoCAD and import it in. Um, the standard you wanted to use, ISO ASME, uh, units, inches or millimeters, and then just watch your sheet sizes over there. So once we've uh, done our se selection, you can see that it's, it's a flat pattern because we're in the flat pattern uh, mode at the moment. Click on OK, and it opens up your 2D drawing and brings in your flat pattern over here. So I'm going to, um, you know, I can go change the orientation or my styles, uh, the scale, tangent edges, clearance edges, thread edges, or bend extent. Um, I'm just going to go plonk it down over here, so I just want to go and see how quick and easy it is to create that bend table. Um, click on OK, so it draws up my, my 2D part with my bends, my bend lines. Um, and then to create that bend table, uh, select on table, okay, brings in over here, put it down, gives me the ID, my direction, angle, radius, and all the bend numbers over here. Cool, thank you for listening.